This is the IMO 2012 problem number 2. If we have n minus 1 positive real numbers whose product is equal to 1, then they satisfy the inequality on the diagram. This problem illustrates that to succeed in Math Olympiad, it's not enough to know math well. You have to be to some extent a magician. Let's write the equation for numbers a, k and the inequality that we want to prove in this compact form for convenience. And we'll start working with the expression 1 plus a, k, which is part of just one term of this product. We will write this expression as the sum of a, k and exactly k minus 1, 1 over k minus 1. It's weird, but correct. This will become more clear in the next step. Now we all of a sudden divide and multiply this expression by k. Why? Aha! Uh -huh. Because the fraction looks like arithmetic mean. And now we can apply the inequality between arithmetic and geometric means. Now, like from the sleeve of a magician, appears the product of these terms in the right side of this inequality. And note that the equality is achieved if and only if a k equals 1 over k minus 1. So initial expression 1 plus a k is not less than the expression in the right side. Equality could be reached if and only if a k was equal to 1 over k minus 1. Since the product in the left side of the inequality that we want to prove has each term to power k, we need to raise both sides of our inequality to power k. And in the process, the exponent 1 over k in the right side happily goes away. Now we can rewrite our proven inequality for each term in more compact form. If we plug our proven inequalities into the original formula, all the terms in the right side are happily eliminated, except of one last expression n to power n, and the product of a2, a3, etc., a n, is fortunately equal to 1. Voila, as the French say. Or as we say in America, bingo. One last detail. We saw earlier that for each individual term equality could be reached if and only if a k was equal to 1 over k minus 1. So, for total equality, a2 must be equal to 1, a3 must be equal to 1 half, a4 must be equal to 1 third, etc., a n must be equal to 1 over n minus 1. The product of these numbers is less than 1. Since the product of all numbers a2, a3, up to a n is supposed to be equal to 1, it proves that the overall inequality is strict. The left side is strictly greater than n to n.